Thanksgiving is over, but two local schools decided it wasn't too late to get in a turkey trot. This morning, students from Savannah High and Johnson High's adaptive learning programs took to the track for a little friendly competition. While they all had first place on their mind, our Sam Bauman explains why they all went home as winners. It was race day Wednesday at Savannah High. This was our second annual adaptive turkey trot. A day they've had circled on their calendar for months. Students have been practicing for this event since October. After being pushed back due to weather, the big day was finally here. Halfly I'm nervous and halfly I'm excited. Students in the adaptive learning programs getting registered, signed in, and stretched out. Just as you would for any other race. We wanted this process to be as realistic as possible. Bringing in Johnson High this year to give more students the chance to participate and of course to add a bit of extra motivation. I get to go compete the other schools and my classmates, which is, that's amazing. Students were given the opportunity to run or walk. I, I'm walking. I, I did running last year. <laughs> How was running last year? Terrible. It, quite terrible. But that doesn't mean walkers weren't out to win. I'm a fast walker, so I can feel a little confident in myself a little bit. Building that sense of confidence is exactly what days like this are about. I hope that they just feel so proud of themselves. They work hard each and every day, and a lot of times our students don't get the recognition they deserve. So while this race was meant to be just like any other, it so clearly wasn't. Because while typically they say it's not how you start, but how you finish, in this case, just getting started was far more important than how they finished. I just want for our community and the other, other schools in the district to just see that our students are capable. They put a lot of effort into what they do, and to have a, a day that shines on them is, you know, what, what I want to see. Isaac Simpkins. <laughs> In Savannah, Sam Bauman, WTOC News.